Hello guys. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have done this uh, modeling of this food stall. So let's continue with it. So let's create this. So let's take a box over here. So convert to editable poly. So let's go into the edge over here, the ring, and you can just push it over here. You can just push this a bit closer. You can push it over here. <coughs> so select again this edge, ring it, and give uh, two edges over here and make this a zero and increase the distance so you can select this and give a bit of inset by polygon click ok and you can just extrude it a bit inset that's it alright so again let's take a box over here so let's take a box like this. So you can just convert to editable poly over here. So, so very first of all, just push this down a bit. Select the top, insert it. push this over here to the corner ok and again give extrude over here keep this over here resize this push it up and again rotate it and again extrude it and rotate it keep this over here like this better. Now again give a extrude option over here like this. Push this over here and click on this polygon. Control and click on this face and give extrude by polygon and increase its size that's it so as you can see over here we have just uh, created this using this option you can just resize this stuff over here so whatever style you want you can just give it you can just call it as a bit of an inset over here and you can give a bit of a bevel option and just reduce this and click ok better so we have just created this stuff over here so you can go over here and you want some more details you can just ring it connect this stuff over here push it over here and again insert it save the file and extrude it a bit inside ok so again take a box over here draw a box take a box over here so after taking a box can convert this box over here so put some loops over here and just insert this stuff over here and extrude it a bit inside and click ok <coughs> better so again go to the top 
and again we have two loops over here. So you can give some two loops over here. And just push this over here. Scale it. So you can just go over here, take a cylinder, you can take a cylinder over here and angle snap toggle, set it to 90 degree and just rotate it and just push this over here. Push this over here and convert to editable poly. Select this and this. Use a inset over here. Click OK and extrude it better <coughs> so you can just reduce this so let's go to the top view and you can use a line over here so you can just use a line and just use a line over here and just push this line up over here rendering enabling viewport and reduce its thickness that's it so as you can see over here we have just generated this stuff over here in this way so you can again go over to the top view <coughs> again you can go to the top view and again you can take a line you can just push this up the same way you have done for this you can push this down like this so select this you can go on to the vertices and you can just push this down and you can just push this down that's it so same for this go on to the vertices and you can just push this down that's it all right so you can just save the file So you can just select this, 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 all these elements and you can just mirror it in the x-axis and make a copy of it. You can just push it over here and you can save it. <coughs> That's it. So now you can go over here or you can just create this stuff over here like you have a kind of a board over here so you can just take a board over here you can push this board at the corner I'm sorry in the front so you can just scale this board you can push this over here that's it you can push it up better so let's go to the front view let's go on to this view <coughs> let's take a line 
draw a line over here. So once you have drawn this line, you can just copy this line over here. So select this line and you can just increase its thickness like 0 0.028 alright so now you can just push this line behind this stuff and you can just push this down can I'm sorry so you can go over here take one more line so you can, if you want, you can just uh, attach, attach this line, select the vertices and you can just push this up, take one more line, attaching this two elements, so you can just push this till here. So as you can see over here, you can increase its uh, thickness of this line and you can arrange it from the side view in a perfect manner. Alright. So as you arrange this, so we will be just making a simple cone because it is uh, not so detailed. So we will be just making a simple code, resizing this code. Let's go to this particular view and removing it from this, scale it, push it over here, keep it like this. Alright, so just keep this, select this, shift and just drag it and you can make some copies for this code. Alright, so you got this stuff over here, so you can just select all of this, excluding this, go to the side view, press shift and you can just duplicate it and you can just push this up, that's it, alright. So as you can see over here, we have generated all this stuff over here in this way. So if you want this to be a kind of a drawer, so you can just select the vertices and just push this down over here. Alt and Q, that's your isolation mode. So you can just convert to editable poly. Go into this edges and let's go on connecting this. Select all of this and just select all of this. Inset by local normal and you have option over here, that's your bevel option. So bevel can be used over here. So you can just utilize this in this way. Press plus and push it inside. Again press plus and you can just push this out. That's it. Alright. So you got this uh, shape. You can you can define it on yourself by yourself also no problem. So. If you don't want the same and if you want it by yourself, you can do it. So I just created by myself. 
by choice. So for the handle, it's very simple. You can just uh, you know take a line over here and you can just do it like this and enable in viewport and make it as a rectangle. Reduce this and just reduce this. So you can just go over here. So select this both the vertices over here and you have option over here that's your uh, fillet so you just give a fillet that's it all right so you can just resize the stuff over here so you can just keep this stuff in this way all right so let's go to the front view and you can just duplicate this stuff like this that's it all right so I'll right click and isolate so as you can see you have created this stuff over here all right So you can place the camera you want. So you want to place a relay camera. So you can just place a relay camera. So you have a relay physical camera over here. You can just place a camera over here. You can take a camera, press C, that's your uh, camera view, you can just push it out from your camera view and you can just rotate the view, so you can just make this view as a perspective view, select this camera and you can activate the target. save your file so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial